How's it going, you guys? Um, I'm about to seal up a, a couple of exhaust leaks I've found on, uh, you know, on parts of my exhaust pipes. You know, this is a new system, and I recommend, you know, after you install your system, that you go back and recheck all of your clamps and things, you know, after a good 500 or 1,000 miles or so, because some of them, once they break in and work in, they might need retightening or readjusting but if you have found or you see black soot in a few joints you know even if it's just a tiny area of some black soot that usually means you have an exhaust leak and it may not be bad but it's nice to not have any if you can help it this product here you can get at any auto parts store it's called muffler and tailpipe sealer by permatex and um, I'll just show you how to use it real quick very handy All right, first you should, of course, clean off all the metals that are going to be affected. You know, get out your uh, your wire brush and uh, make sure you clean off any dirt or rust or anything like that off of it. And then you actually will dampen the metal that you're going to do the joint sealing on. So just spray it down, you know, with your garden sprayer or, or water hose or whatever. You actually spray it down some because this material... Is kind of like a clay material that is heat resistant. Of course, I've already been using it, so it's a little filthy. But it comes out on this big tube right here, and it's kind of a gray clay like material. And um, so, in order to do a good seal, excuse me while I get under here, in order to, good, to do a good seal, some water needs to be involved. And uh, let me see if I can my camera to something here hang tight one second a little clamp action let's take this one for example here I personally think you know the exhaust it doesn't have to be completely cold but it should be cool to the touch but I think if it's warm a little bit, then this material will uh, will seep into the cracks a little bit better. I uh, highly recommend that you wear some you know, nitrile gloves or you know, uh, rubber mechanics gloves because you're going to get dirty. Um, imagine this stuff just being like clay. So put you some gloves on. And uh, the exhaust pipe should be slightly damp. So you know, spray it with a little bit of water. I've already done it, obviously, but I'm just going to demonstrate real quick. And then you just take your little cap off and put a little bit on your finger. And then you'll start raking it towards the joint. You know, just smear it around really good. And if you'll notice, if your hand is a little damp, and this is damp, this material will seep into the cracks nicely. It'll actually drip down you know, drip down the joint, fill up these cracks. So you just have to rake all the way around it. And what I've done, I went all the way towards the front of the truck and then this would start to dry and then I'll work my way back and apply it again. So just keep applying it until everything is nicely sealed. Okay, no big deal. Just make sure everything is clean before you start. And, um, just keep applying it until you can't see any gaps on your joints. And um, then the instructions say to let it dry for, you know, for uh, 30 minutes. And then crank your engine and run it for a good 10 to 15 minutes to heat everything up. And um, there you have it. You know, it's, I've done this on some other vehicles and it works great. You know, it may look a little messy, so you may want to, you know, just, if you don't care, it doesn't matter, but be careful with it if you're trying to, to make it look good and non-messy and whatnot. But I have used this product before, and it works really well, because once it dries, it is a seal that gases are not going to leak out of. But, uh, you know, if you're suspect that you've got an exhaust leak after the fact, you know, after you've been driving a while, just look for any black soot maybe some black soot coming out of little areas. 
that'll be an indication you've obviously got a little exhaust leak. And um, that's an easy way to resolve it, you know. So check out our other videos. We got more stuff uh, relating to this truck. This particular truck is a 1990 Chevy K1500. Got all kinds of videos on projects we've done to that thing. Also got projects with uh, Harley Davidsons and Yamaha dirt bikes and Ford Taurus X and Buick Skylarks and lawnmowers and you name it. Anyway, hope that helps somebody out. Like, subscribe, follow, blah, blah, blah. We will see y'all soon.